Dr. T, could you please tell us what is the significance and the importance of the omega-3 oils for our health? What is the big deal recently with omega-3 oils? Today, with our environmental pollution and our dietary habit, our tendency to eat a lot of oils from seeds, especially beans like soybean and corn and safflower, sunflower oil, um, increases our omega-6 intake dramatically by comparison to what we were eating, say, 500 or 1,000 years ago. And those omega-6 fatty acids tend to increase our inflammation in the body in general. Whenever we have a start of an inflammatory process, we need to stop it. We need to have a way to terminate the inflammatory cascade. And we just can't because there is enough omega-6 in our body to convert gradually to an, a fatty acid called arachidonic acid, which is the main precursor to many inflammatory prostaglandins in our body, messengers that make us even more inflamed. So we don't stop it, the inflammatory process and we are an inflamed society. Omega-3 oils happen to be displacing the arachidonic acid buildup in our tissues and therefore it doesn't allow us to become as inflammatory. It allows us to stop the inflammatory process and if we take enough of it, it would actually be a very potent anti-inflammatory. That is one significance which is relevant to most autoimmune disease, most injuries, most degenerative diseases, cardiovascular diseases. That's one aspect. Another aspect has to do with our brain. Omega-3 is incorporated and its products are incorporated into our brain and into cellular membranes with all of their functions. Messengers are continuously attaching to receptors and proteins in our cellular membranes to bring information to the cell so it knows how to survive, what to produce, what to manufacture, what to excrete. Omega-3 oils are important for the fluidity and functionality and structure of our membranes all over our body, but especially it's important in our brain. And most of us are deficient because we have too much omega-6, whereas in nature we would have gotten omega-3 a lot in greens and in walnuts, but we wouldn't have had so much of it. And that is why today for inflammation, for structural health, functionality, um, and even for prevention of blood problems like coagulation um, and uh, increased viscosity of our blood and improved oxygenation in the tissues. There are many reasons for us to take omega-3 fatty acids today.